Hello everyone. Recently I found this game. It's it's good fun for me and I wanted to see tutori tutorials how to build uh, your ship, what to do at the beginning. Uh, and finally I found my own strategy for this game and I want to share it with you. So wh what was my, my strategy? I played this game only like three or four days uh, and how did I start? What, what did I do uh, to go to, to, to this? First I used this captain uh, and I maxed out this skill it uh, it will take like 90 cube 19 cubes to max out when you max out this one i uh, i changed to this power up and max out uh, this because i wanted to progress as fast as i could so I thought this will be the best choice and my strategy was this like if you need 18, 18 cubes to level up this skill and you have only uh, 16 so you can put those points here and then you can take take it out so when you gather 18 you can level up and take if if uh, you don't have enough you can take some from this so th this should be your next target to max out those uh, three skills when you max out those three skills go i went to the planet and tried to uh, max out this turret planet. Why? Because at the beginning uh, you will need uh, to rely heavily on super plasma planet. Uh, also you will have to rely on super plasma planet when you will uh, mm, level up your next, next, next and next uh, captain. Uh, why I didn't max out these captains because I don't want them to join to my crew. Uh, I looked through the skills of every captain because if this captain join your crew in the game it will give you all the bonuses from from here. I looked uh, on the skills of all of these captains and I choose those who suits me uh, the best. So how, how do I play? I use only one weapon, plasma. Uh, I play this captain. I use only plasma. I not, I'm not investing in any other uh, weapon uh, for uh, damage. I invest in weapon like a static field and boxing gloves just for defense. Uh, uh, I not put uh, I not put any points in DPS in those two last weapon. I will show you how I play, but first I will try to uh, tell you the the progression I I did. So first this captain max out, then switch to progress uh, to power ups and to progression to g gather as much of these rare cubes as you can per per single run of the game. So max out this one. At this stage you probably will not go far in the game, but just try to get as much those cubes as you can. And then switch to the planet and max out th this one. If you do this, go to the captains and uh, try to unlock another captain. What, what do you need to unlock? To unlock this captain you only need to pass 
wave 10 in uh, by any captain so probably you will already have this one so after this try to get this captain you need uh, defeat 10 lights so probably if you max out the cubes the planet and uh, the first level of this captain so probably you will have two of those then to have this captain you need to upgrade upgrade the super plasma planet six times but if you if you go to the upgrades and go to the super plasma and see uh, super plasma planet six of six so probably if you max out this one i don't know because i uh, also invest in the plan super plasma planet in the game so I might have uh, six time invest in the row, but um, I suspect that when you max out this planet, uh, then you will also get this captain for six uh, uh, plasma planet level ups. So when you get this captain, don't level it up and try to get this one. Uh, to get this one, this captain, uh, Ram, you need to upgrade the wolf pack 10 times in the game. So switch to this captain, uh, stick to the plasma planet and level up wolf pack fleet to get this one. If you get this one, captain, then you can start leveling them up to join your fleet so you have to meet those requirements if you cannot do this just switch to this one captain and grind for cubes for those cubes to have better power-ups better planets and better captains how do i play it, the uh, this captain azurin azurin i don't know how uh, to say it in english uh, i play for mobility so this this skill is very very important for me because this will give me max boost it also block damage wh when i boosting and other skills like uh, charging uh, shields are also made to to charge the shield while boosting uh, so i take everything that will increase my boost time decrease the uh, charging my boosts also block damage while i boosting also charge my sh uh, shields while i boosting why choose uh, vermilion i choose because of this because max max hull i don't play very well in this game because i play too short uh, and sometimes i get a lot of damage so uh, max hull uh, is very important for me as a bonus i get gold magnet wrench but this is rather secondary skill for me because i have the planet with uh, uh, with magnets so i can go to the planet and take all gold from the map but the skill is is nice uh, to to have but not required and also i use this um, commander ram because i want because i use gloves as defense frontal defense for my ship uh, then i can ram my ship to the other ships and i will take no damage this is mainly the role of the gloves i not i'm not investing uh, in the uh, dps of the gloves i invest only in number of gloves the, there is maximum four gloves per ship and also i invest in range 
of the gloves. So at the beginning gloves protect only uh, the front of my ship, but when the range increases my back of the ship is also protected by gloves. Uh, also I invest in uh, knockback force of the gloves because w when you ram in the ship the enemy ship is pushed back so if you ram through the group of the ships then uh, you will push back all of those ships and they will not attack you from the back so mm, I, I don't use this weapon this is uh, something I, I don't need to waste uh, skill points in the game and also this captain have max hull increase also it has block damage while boosting so this is also good for it combines with this skill so i i can block a lot of uh, damage uh, because i I'm I'm boosting. Uh, so so this is my strategy. Only plasma, and uh, I saw on the. Also, I saw on the uh, internet movies that some people use cubes to reroll. I use cubes mainly for banning the skills. I don't want in the game. I will show you. So this is this is my setup. This is my planet setup, maximum plasma. But right now with uh, with maxed this skills, I don't uh, uh, rel I rarely use uh, plasma planet. I use it sometimes. Uh, so let's see how how I perform in the game. So back, play, confirm and launch. So first I take the cube. I don't kill this bug ship because it's accumulate gold and then the accumulated gold uh, is increased when this ship is killed in the in the middle of the game for example right now i have two skill points so first oh the first skill is is very good for me boxing gloves so i will take it boxing gloves range also i'll take it so right now in the front of my ship there is one boxing gloves with a red circle this is the range of the gloves and then i can i can ram another ships and uh, no damage for me but a lot of damage for all other ships as i said i use mobility so i will try to increase as much as i can this uh, this number right now i have five boosts so let's let's play a little let's go through all of my planets take the cubes take the other cubes and take the god okay right now i don't want anything of this so instead of rolling i will banish i will banish uh, mostly the mm, weapons because with if you take this weapon it also goes with increased range increased land increased s anything else so but i want to minimize the possibility of choosing the wrong power up so i will ban those power-ups uh, to never show again so ban this one recharge per second boosters this is very important skills skill for me because it will increase the speed i will recover uh, boost so i will take it 
uh, shield charge on boost. This is also very, very good skill for me, but not for now. I will try to. Mm, I have three more uh, cubes, so I will banish this. Plasma uh, spread is also very good, but I don't take uh, too much. I take only mm, as much to have a wall of uh, projectiles. So th this skill is not, not for now. Block damage while boosting. Uh, I don't take this because I have this skill in, in the other skills. So banish and also banish Mag max boost this is very good for me so i will take boxing glove wrench also very good skill because this increased the field of protection from uh, from the beginning of my ship from the front of my ship right now uh, charge per second collision damage this is not there is nothing interesting for me i don't have also the cubes for ban banishing so let's play as you can see this red circle increased so right now i have more protection from from the beginning i can also ram through waves of enemies so right now I will go to the planet and wait. Oh, there is a cube somewhere here. So let's cut. Let's take this one, take this one and go for the cube. And now ban Nova. I don't use it. Uh, again, nothing. Sometimes I have like 25 points here but don't spend it on things that you don't want because if you banish more skills that you don't want the skills you want will come up uh, more frequent so so don't use the skills if you don't need to Let's get another cube for banishing. There are two more. I see. This one. This one. And let's go to the planet for third cube. Okay. So it's right now is again banishing time. Collision damage. I don't need it. So ban. Max boxing gloves plus one. Very important. I will take it. Uh, who, uh, max shields, of course. Max shields is good for me because when I um, <coughs> boost, I will also charge the shield. So this is very important. Max boost, boxing glove wrench. Hmm, which one? Max boost, boxing glove wrench, boxing glove wrench. Knockback force or plasma. No, uh, knockback force. Shield charge, plasma damage. Max boxing gloves plus one. Banish this one. I didn't got any crew member, so right now I should have at least one. Mm, booster charge per second. This is very important. Shield recharge on boost. Okay. Static field. Okay. I use static field only for uh, slowing down the enemies. So my main goal of this will be static field range and slow down enemies so right now i will take it plasma per shoot have more dps so let's take it gold pickup banish gold pickup i don't need it max hole 
a ram the ford gloves gro glove and boxing glove wrench this is very very good cool down cool down i don't have cubes for banishing so let the... look right now all front of my ship is perfectly uh, covered with the with the gloves and some of back of my ship is also protected by gloves so right now we are pretty good in defense so let's earn some money I don't want to kill that uh, bug sheep, so that's why I run away from him. The next thing you should do, uh, you should learn how to make a circles around around the planet. Let's see, we have like one one cube so cool down the park no 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 but yeah nothing interesting okay so let's banish damage per nova planet i don't need this one also so banish static field slow enemies this is very good static field range okay uh, static field damage Blah. Uh, so nothing more that i need and let's take another cube and another banish gold Your main goal, goal is to find these cubes. So every time you can go to uh, go to the planet with uh, pur purple cubes and take one for you. One or three or five, I think. this one max shield okay uh, knockback force okay uh, knockback force okay max shield uh, maybe increase plasma plasma range okay so we don't have the cubes to punish so we don't take the skills we don't need This is knockback. My gloves pushing back all groups of the enemy cube. Banish gold multiplier pick. And still nothing interesting. But if you will be patient, this strategy pay off because at the end of the game you will get every time 
plasma damage or plasma planet damage. So be patient. Five cubes. Very, very good. And punish time. Static field slow enemies. Very good for us. Chain collision? No. Plasma spread? No. Recharge per seven? No. And we have one punish more. Recharge per second. Recharge delay. Okay. So let's play. You, I see you. Banish. Chain collisions. I don't need it. Damage per player. Okay. Uh, max boost. Max boost. We have only six. It's good to have more. Ah, look. <coughs> this captain will give me plus. 110 hull damage, gold range plus 5, so right now I have 214, so let's take it. Damage per plasma, max shields, damage per plasma. Of course, static field range, this is very important. A static field damage, I don't need it. Static field slow. Yes, damage per plasma, shoot per second, which one has, this one has more DPS. And right now we used all our points for skills that we will use in the future. So, this is very good. Static field, slow enemies, okay. Damage per plasma, okay. Mm, max hull, okay. Right now there is wave 19, so this will be boss. So let's increase our change of survival with our plasma planet. Static field, slow enemies, okay, slow enemies, okay. Hmm. Okay, so static field damage, I don't need it. Plasma damage, okay. Uh, recharge per second when not moving. This is also good because when we have static field, we can stay in one place and charge our shields. Gold magnet range also is okay, so I will take it. Static field range plus one. Damage, I don't need it. Hull damage. Recharge delay, use this one for punishing this one. Max hull plus 20, okay. Mm, super plasma planet, okay, but now uh, maybe damage per plasma will be better choice. Static field range plus one. Uh, charge per second when not moving, plus six, gold magnet, okay. Um, plasma per shot, okay. So right now we have, let's test it, if something goes to us or not. Static field will slow down, boxing gloves 
very big range will push enemies and we have more cubes Static field range, of course. As you can see, right now I'm not afraid of enemies coming from all, all sides because I can push them away, I can slow them, and I can heal them also. And if I need to run away, then I boost. Let's take it. There was uh, this big ship that's which is going from behind and attack you from behind. That's why <sighs> I lost some HP points. But right now, banish another laser, mag shields, okay. Static field range plus two, okay. So Right now, there should be pretty, pretty good survival chance. As you can see, I am boosting, I getting damage, but also I when I boost, I'm boosting, I recharge my shield. So. Everything is mostly under control. make some circles around our planet. Shoots per second, okay. No, oh, two. Uh, max shoots, okay. This is 19 waves, so as you can see another big boss. Look, 104. Pur purple damage blocked only by boosting. This would kill me. If I didn't have this perk. Shoots per second. I think it's time to spread plasma spread to focus. Ah, maybe later. All plus 30. Okay, it's time to kill this one.
have strength cubes, so right now I can go to the shop and take, as you can see, not much choice, but this one. Hmm, maybe, maybe, maybe this one also. Okay, so right now, well, sometimes game gives you better chance to get DPS at the beginning of, of the game. Right now I had more chance to get survival, survival. That's why the second boss was taking me so long. But right now I can increase my chance. My survival, survival is pretty good. 50 shields is probably maximum from uh, from the upgrades uh, and also health 490 is also pretty good i have seven boost chances so right now plasma damage damage per plasma look my strategy pays off at the end of the game there is not my choice presented to you only b to plasma plasma overclock overclock and some leftover from not banished uh, power-ups so right now probably i can every time i get plasma uh, uh, damage let's see again plasma damage Plasma damage. You can see this. Ah, also, you can see that not every time. So let's banish Nova Planet. I don't need it. Plasma damage. Plasma Gold pickup, plasma damage. Let's charge our shields a little bit because boss is coming, so stop. Shields are charged. So now they Well, this boss was faster taken down. Bolt destroy those ships. 
right now I could use less spread, plasma spread, so let's see, do I have it? No. Hmm. Let's see here. As you can see in this shop I have only plasma and plasma. This is very good because this will give me only better damage. Pick. Damage per plasma. Plasma spread. Yes. Please. Damage per pla level. Plasma spread. Yes, please. Thank you. So, probably I will take one more plasma spread and this will be also banned. Let's see if we can survive not moving. So more plasma and one more plasma spread. Yes. This is okay, this is okay. So now it's time to take this. Looks. Plasma damage. Banish this one, I don't need you anymore. Damage per Damage, damage. Hmm. I want out. Let me out. Thank you very much. Upgrade. So damage. Damage. Ah. Ban. Damage. Circles around here. Yes. Over. Plasma damage. Plasma damage per level. Three cubes. Thank you very, very much. Can we take plasma per planet per cannon? Home sweet home. Hmm. 
I didn't notice any boss. Tough choice, maybe plasma damage. Plasma damage and hmm, plasma damage, of course, and plasma damage, of course, and another plasma damage. So, well, good. Hmm, no more enemies. Boring. circles around my home planet. Well, plasma damage and plasma damage. This is a boss wave, so probably let's risk it and go. This was the last wave? Ah. Okay, so it was the last wave. I, I hoped that I can get more cubes from the planet, but I didn't see. So this is my final score. Also, this is band, banned, banned. 
skills this is skills that I use plasma weapon super plasma plasma per shot plasma per shot plasma cannons as I said I only use plasma as a main weapon I use static field for slowing down the enemies and boxing gloves for for ramming enemies and for defense from uh, <coughs> from front of the ship and let's see how many cubes I did I get 26 per run so right now power-ups and don't know what I want I want this and I want more gold so more <coughs> power-ups in the game so I hope you like this maybe someone can um, make better uh, setup for this game I like it I like to play like this because as I said <coughs> I uh, can't, I don't know how to evade properly damage, so I have to make build that will absorb some damage and this is very good for me, this is very good for my, my play style. Thank you for watching, bye.